Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity and today I'm in my Silhouette Studio and I wanted to share a quick tutorial with you on how to use your font glyphs in Silhouette Studio if you only have the basic edition. I do have an earlier video about how to use um, your glyphs in Silhouette Studio and I'll leave that um, card up above. But in that video, it assumes that you have either the Designer Edition, the dot Designer Plus Edition, or um, the Business Edition of Silhouette Studio. I'm using the Business Edition, and if I go here um, to my text style panel, you can see that I have that Glyphs panel available to me. And I'll leave a uh, a link in the description box down below for um, a, what I feel is the best deal on that business edition. You can also pick up the designer and the designer plus editions um, there at Swing Design. But it's not my intention to um, convince you to do an upgrade um, for your Silhouette Studio. Um, you know, be sure to check out the different features of those different upgrades. Um, and pick the one that's right for you. I personally um, upgraded gradually. I went to the Designer Edition first and then I went to the Business Edition much later. And um, so with that, um, I'm going to go to View in Standard Edition. And now I'm going to be able to see the um, you know, software the way a standard edition user would be able to see it. And let's go to um, the page setup grid, and I'm going to uncheck show grid so that you can see this a lot better. And I'm going to um, move my characters off to the side here. And let's just go ahead and use that same text to demonstrate how to do this. I'm going to type out hello and now you can see that that comes up in that basic um, default text style and I'm going to go to one that I know has glyphs for it. I'm going to go to One Dance. It's one that I have on my computer. And you can see that that's just that um, plain one here without the glyph. And if I were to go to this textile panel, there isn't um, accessibility for those glyphs built into that in the standard edition. So how can I use those glyphs, especially if this is a purchased font that you downloaded? And so that's what I wanted to share with you. So we're going to go here to our Windows Start panel, and I have Windows 10. You can access Character Map, um, you know, in um, your other Windows but I'm just going to start typing in character map and the app comes right up when I get a couple letters typed in and now you can see um, your character map and you can see the different glyphs that go along with your or the different characters that go along with your font and if I scroll down I can find one for the H and you're not going to be able to see this really well. Um, I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to copy it. And now when I go here, I can double click on this, go into that um, text editing mode, highlight this by holding down my mouse and 
right click and paste. And now I have that special character um, along with my text and I can go here, select that, go to weld, and um, now I'm ready for using that text for um, my design. Now one thing that I want to add about the character map um, and the glyphs is this. Um, and this is kind of important. I'm going to type out another text. And um, let's type out let's type out the word love. It's um, January. Valentine's Day is a little bit over a month away, but um, what I've found with some fonts and character map is that um, there's another way to access them in that character map. Um, and this is the example I'm going to use. Let's change this to, let's see. Um, this is another script font that I have. And you can see that when I change that, I have this lovely script font, um, but no glyphs. And if I go to my character map, this is called um, Nostalgia Script. When I look at this panel in Nostalgia Script, even if I scroll down, I'm not seeing all of my special characters. But if I go to Group by Unicode Subrange, and um, scroll down in that menu to private use characters, now I can see my glyphs for that font. So if you're not finding your glyphs, um, you might try that to be able to um, find them. So these can be really difficult to see, so hopefully I'll find the right ones here. And I'm going to paste in the one for the L and go back for one for the E. Let's select that one, copy, highlight, paste, and now I have one for the E. And with that font, there's actually some more, um, you know, a lot fancier glyphs than that, but um, I like these. And I'll weld that together. And now you can see that we have a nice um, design complete with the flourish that we want for our project. So that's it for today, guys. That's how you add glyphs. Um, to your text in Silhouette Studio Basic. If this video was helpful to you, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll subscribe and join the rest of our creative family as we learn to create in Silhouette Studio. If you have questions or comments, I invite you to leave them in the um, box down below. I'd love to chat with you there about um, things that you want to learn about or are, that you're struggling with in using your Silhouette Studio software. So blessings on the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.